Okay, we are about ready. Hmm, okay, so let me see. Uh, volume on my TV needs to go down. Camera actually needs to go up this time. Alright, I need to make sure my phone's going. Back to it. So we are on chapter 20, and it's actually a pretty tr uh, tricky chapter. Yeah, this chapter is kind of tricky. Yeah, we enter the castle, bring the lights, uh, the light sphere. Wait, the light sphere? Ah, oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Keep getting confused with the life sphere. We'll do that. At least someone has it. Alright. Harden's there. Medea is over here and we rescue her. So, our biggest problem right now is that there are a lot of enemies with meteors specifically. If you look over here, uh, this guy has meteor... This guy has Meteor. That guy has Swarm, that's not as bad. But this guy also has Meteor. It's kind of annoying. I don't even know anything about Dolan. I don't even know... Wait, there's no attack. Is Dolan one of those ones where if it hits, it uh, just brings you down to 1 HP? Not only that, we got a bunch of healing stuff, too. So, just trying to get past this onslaught of meteors is right now my problem. But I just thought of something. Just now. Right now, I'll send Tiki up here. Uh, Mark? And I want Lind to keep moving. Because what I should consider is there's a silent staff in storage. I could give that to Lind. And silence one of the guys with meteors. Allowing me to get closer. Because the biggest problem is more that there's just too many to deal with. Right now, the only ones that can really handle it is really just kind of Tiki. And Ogma for the defense. And he has the HP to back it up. So far, I feel like I just need to rely on those two. We rescue Medea. Dia safe. Katria. Julian. Alright. Right now, I do think it's a good idea to just let Tiki and Ogma handle everything. Don't really have too many units get close. I feel like that's part of my problem right now. Okay. We 
let Tiki handle this. What is Tiki's defense? 14? Agumai has way more defense. Uh, I can get Agma right there. I think I'm, like, rushing some of my units too quickly. Where's Mark? Okay. Wind is over here. Okay, hold on. No magic. Recover physic, mend barrier fortify, silence. Temporary stops and enemies' magic. Reveals insides of buildings. Okay. Oh, I can move again now. We'll save that. Opens nearby doors. We'll save that. Let's grab the silent staff. I think when we're about ready to send. Like. Because I would want to silence, like, this, uh, this one. So maybe what I could do is, once Tiki's ready to go and start attacking, uh, like, Tiki will get rid of these three. And once she's ready to head down here, I think I'm gonna silence this one. Just to get it out of the way, but, hmm. Honestly, he wasn't a problem for Tiki. I'm trying to think of who died that one time, and I think it was just that there were just too many meteors. And Melissa still has Warp and Hammond. Or Hammer. I just think I need to take this slowly and really just let Agma and Tiki handle it. I think that will be the best I can do. Julian, head over here. Alright. Go after Agma, it's fine. Huh, no crit. Interesting. Okay. So now Tiki's going up here. Deal with the mage. She'll fight the sniper. Then we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, let's get Ryan and War into the weekend. Got a strength boost, that's good. Alright, top off Agma. I'm, 
I'm still not seeing any axe units. Are do we? I'm. I really think we never get an axe unit in this game. I mean, all the way at chapter 20, if we didn't get an axe unit now, I don't think we are getting one. I don't think we have Barst. I don't think Barst is in this game. There should really only be two units that close. That's also what makes this tricky. Like whenever we actually get to do something, someone has someone gets healed. Undoing a lot of the progress. Seems like the snipers are the most annoying, but uh, the most annoying for Tiki anyway. But it's, it's still doable. Ryan, grab your kill. Okay, it's done. This mage could go after Ryan, but Ryan's fine. Tiki should get healed, but I think... I think we can heal her next turn. 21, 12, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Oh, you know what? Let's heal Tiki. Man, meteors are just so scary right now. I will silence meteors, but not yet. I don't want to send Agma forward. Honestly, if I'm going to lure him over, I think I actually do want to use TP. The mage is attacking Tiki. Good. I'll, I'd rather have that. Tiki has a lot more resistance than Ryan. Level 18. A little bit of luck and HP. Luck affects how long she'll stay as a Durgan. Ouch. Um, am I in... Come on. Good, we dodged. I think we need to keep it that way. You see, that's kind of the problem. Meteors is just very strong. And accurate enough. Alright. I think it might be best to... Melissa, back out. No physic. Use your range. Okay. 
Okay, if I just paint out here, then I won't get attacked by this guy. I think that would be best. Let's go ahead and heal. I think we'll work on the upper meteor set first. And I can dance to get her out of the way. Yeah, I can't really get her three squares forward, so we'll just leave her there. Uh, how about we dance? Win. And heal Mo um, Melissa. Fina's level 15. I just not realize that. She has about the same strength as Sheeta. Alright, let's heal Melissa. Or Melissa, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce her name. There we go. Fully healed. Okay. Katria and Julian can get close enough. Let's leave it there. Now he's going after Tiki from range, not that it matters. And we get the crit for 90 damage. It's insane. That guy had max HP too. Magma is currently distracting the meteor set. I'll, I'll allow it. Oh, I didn't realize Ryan was in range of the other one. But it takes the attention away from Tiki. It takes the attention away from Tiki, we'll take it. Still gonna take two misbreaths to do this. Or crit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What can you do there? Lind can heal. We can heal Ryan. Okay, good. And Ogma, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Point you right here. Okay. 14, nothing boosted. Leave that there. Ah, uh, the heels. He's at full health. Do I just need to hope for a crit? Yeah, he's at full health. There is no one here that Tiki can actually get rid of. Not in a single hit. But the guy with Fortify cannot heal himself. Let's work on this one. He can't heal himself. That will just get rid of one less healer. And I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three. I think I'm still out of range of meteors. At the moment, let's just end the turn. You're healing. But how much did you heal? Not enough. Perfect. There we go. We got rid of one healer. We got speed and HP, I think. Yeah. So now we can have Tiki focus on the guy with meteors. Or the guy that's going to attack me with... Oh, he's not going to attack me. Okay. Get rid of the guy with meteor. It's going to take two hits, two turns, but that's okay. We got rid of one healer. At this point, it's better to just let Tiki handle it. I don't want to risk anyone getting in range of Meteor. No one's healing. Okay, one Meteor out. Okay. Perfect. End the turn. Come on. All right. I could let someone else have this one. But he's also not moving. Uh, you know what? I I'll let someone else ha have that. Because I could dance, I could use my mages, I could use my archers. He's not the biggest threat. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's just get you moving. I will want to silence this guy. I'll do that once I get closer. Okay. Okay. We go right here. We are currently out of range of this guy. I'm gonna have Lind use the silent staff Wait. On who? Wait. What? Block the enemy magic. Is this this win? Wait a minute. It affects... It affects every enemy. Oh my god. I did not know that. Oh, that changes so much. I thought it would be a single enemy that I target. No, it's every enemy. That changes everything. It's temporary, though, so we gotta make it work. We gotta make it count. Oh, that is so broken. That is so broken. We still want to work on getting rid of the meteors. ASAP. Okay. I'm gonna send Ryan up top. I'm gonna send Julian that way. Uh, I'll send... Oh! It's not just enemies. I can't use my own stuff, too. No one can heal. No one can use magic. 
that changes a lot of things. I didn't realize it would affect my own guys. Okay. We're on the move. But we can get rid of you. It's a crit. Tiki needs to transform again. She spent too much time. Uh, I can have Ryan get rid of this guy. Oh! It's a single turn thing? No, oh, it's only for a single turn. I didn't know that. That's actually not good. I think I'm gonna have to use silence again. I th I thought it would be a couple turns. Okay, if I want to try this again. need healing. No. No one does. We're using silence again. This may be too many uses of silence, but I put myself in a bad spot. I can't get to that guy with meteors. Let's currently target this one. Okay. okay. Ryan, you're gonna go here. What gives you the most attack speed? Killer? see the problem. I don't know who's going to attack who. And if Ryan gets too many, gets a kill, that would actually put him in danger. Um, I can have Ogma keep going. I don't think that's going to harm anything. I could try to give Marth a kill or two, but... There's only one guy with meteors, so it's not as bad. It's not as bad right now. You're going after Ryan, okay. I had a feeling. I actually, well, we can get the crit, we'll be fine. Okay with this. You're going after Tiki. And we get the crit. That's good. That helps a lot.
This guy couldn't use Meteor, so that helped me. You have a strength of 23. 14. Yeah, we're fine. I could go ahead and use Meteor. Uh, attack the guy with Meteors. guy with meteors and then one guy with swarm. I think Ryan needs to just back out. It's not necessarily the guy with swarm that I have issues with. Even if the guy, is with, the guy with meteor gets healed, uh, it won't be enough for Tiki King one hit KO next turn. is safe. I want more in this way. As well as Melissa. Melissa, how well do you do against this guy? We'll use... Yeah, Thunder. Attack of 21. Ugh. It's, it's like nothing. You're here for healing. And Julian's gonna be opening the door soon. I should physic. Ogma has the HP to take this. I'm not scared. Okay. He definitely has the HP to take this. Alright. Alright. Going to get rid of meteors. There we go. The biggest threat... The biggest threats are out here. How well you do against this guy. Attack 32 minus 8. That would be 24. Yeah, we got him. And we'll heal him. Oh, we dodged. Good. Perfect. Okay. And next, uh, Warren's gonna work on this guy next turn. Alright, all that's left is this guy with Swarm. That's the biggest threat. Uh, Lind, go ahead and let you Physic. Close enough. No stat boosts. Oh well. I'll let Ogma get close. What's your attack speed? 14. Wow. Can Marth, can you equip something that's a higher attack speed? The rate uh, the killing edge. Okay, that's something. We'll take it. Uh really want to use you yet, but I'll bring you over here. Alright. Everyone's kind of scattered right now. Okay. Nothing that really matters. Good, we dodged. 
you're going after Marth. Marth actually needs the EXP. It's perfect, we got a crit. Level 17, strength, skill, luck, weapon level, and HP. Of course, Marth is getting attacked by Swarm. Of course he gets hit. Luckily, he's still alive. Wait, who's getting... Oh, it's the general, isn't it? Okay. Wait a minute. Why is Marth getting healed? Wait. Does the life sphere just fully heal you at the beginning of each turn? Is that what it does? Oh my god. That changes a lot of things. If that's how it works, I'm handing that over to Tiki. She'll go nuts! Okay. If I have Lind go after this guy... It's going okay, Hawkhorn Dog. This is my first attempt, and we've gotten farther. We've gotten rid of all of the guys with Meteor. So that changes a lot of things. Uh... Because, you know, the, there was like, what, three guys with Meteor? And that just didn't help. Uh, how that worked was, I actually remembered we have a silent staff. And then I used it. Turns out, it works a little bit differently than other games with silence. You don't just pick a target, and it's, like, silence for a few turns. No, 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 no. For a single turn, everyone, including your own, no one can use magic. No one on the field can use magic when you use the silent staff. So, I used it twice because I didn't know that's how it worked. So, like, I brought a bunch of my units forward, thinking it would last a few turns. In every three moment, exactly. Yeah, I thought it would last a few turns, but it only lasts one from what I see. So I put my units in a bad spot, not realizing that, so I had to use it twice. But now that I know that silence affects every character, every unit, including your own, that, sh that it changes a lot of things. And it looks like the life sphere fully heals you at the beginning of each turn, because Marth got fully healed for no reason. Tiki, how well do you do against... Okay, effective against dragon. Just any dragon. 50. Yeah, Tiki would be fine against the earth dragon. Uh, there's no effectiveness with dark breath. Yes, I did see it. I did watch that. It was definitely... It, it, it was definitely a meme video, I guess. Marth has the Room Slayer. Alright. I'm gonna lure out the... Wait, is that right? Is that right? Yeah, that is right. I'm gonna lure this guy out. Marth can go ahead and go down here. Let's see. That's being worked on. How well can Lind deal with this guy? Pack of 21 minus uh, not enough. Athena? No, uh, her name is Palutena in Kid Icarus. She did try. It didn't last that long, though. And the attempt failed, that's for sure. Pack of 35 minus 3, 32. I should double. I will get the kill. If he attacks me, attack at 25. Minus 12 defense. So 13. Okay, hold on. Sorry. 15 attack minus 8. That would be about 7. Anyway, I... 
she's inspired by Athena? Yeah, she probably is, but she's inspired by Athena, but she's not Athena. She's Palutena. Yeah, Wind will survive. Yeah, of course we get the crit. Okay. Now we just need to get rid of this guy with Swarm. Uh... You know what? Start doing this. New Fortnite season drop. They dropped it three days earlier. Is this the one with the Incredibles, or is that later? Oh, it's the Marvel stuff. Is, is this the one with uh, Doctor Doom? Incredibles will be either a shop thing or a event. Okay. Just so, just not right now. They announced it. Okay. The dragon is moving. <laughs> Going to attack Tiki. Oh, Earth Dragon's not a dragon. So, I don't get the effectiveness. That's weird. I'm sorry. Ex you know, excuse me for not thinking this through. It says the Divine Dragon Breath is effective against Dragon. I don't know about you, but that's a dragon. Or is it saying that Earth Dragons are not dragons? I think this game is saying Earth Dragons are not dragons. Confirmed. The game says that it's not a dragon. Wow, his accuracy sucks. Alright, Marth. Let's see what you can do. Worm Slayer. 25. If I get hit, it's 22. But if I use like a Master Sword, 31 minus 15, so yeah, okay, we got this, we got this. Agma can handle the rest if needed. Might be a translation error, maybe. Maybe in Japan it's called Earth Beast or something similar. Hmm, maybe. Marth, you suck! You just wasted two Worm Slayers. Yeah, he's not a dragon. He is not a dragon. Oh my god. Agma, you... <laughs> Agma doesn't have the strength either. Oh my god. Agma, you needed literally one more point of strength to deal one point of damage. Luckily, they both dodged. I guess this has to go to Tiki. I guess we have to have Tiki do this. Alright, first. Julian, open the door. Ryan, do your thing. Grimpool is the first skin you can get. So, who are they bringing in with the Marvel stuff? I know Doctor Doom. You said you're saying Gwenpool. Who else are they bringing in? Yeah. 
Oh no. More bots telling me to buy bot viewers. It's so cheap. Emma Frost, the banana skin, but the Wolverine attire. Wait, so Emma Frost is basically wolf wearing Wolverine's suit? I'm getting a little confused right now. Uh, okay, so... Emma Frost is the skin. Okay. Then what is this? The banana skin, but with Wolverine attire. There is a banana wearing a Wolverine suit. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and dance Lind. Because she needs to go and Aura needs to be repaired. Weapon level, defense, and HP. Okay. Why send Navarre? He's actually not gonna... He's not gonna help me, actually. Yes. Alright, I already know the Earth Dragon's not going to attack Tiki. Of course you're healing the Earth Dragon. Yeah, I need Martha and Ogma out of the way. Oh my god, he's almost fully healed. I forgot the rest. You're just here for Doom. Gwimple skin is kind of cool. You get have her with the comic outline. That's not bad. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna... Gonna trade with Marth with the Life Sphere. And we're going to attack... needs to be done about this healer, too. I could... Wait a I could have Tiki ignore him. I could have Tiki try to ignore the dragon. She's not a Gwen Stacy variant, but surprisingly, she's inspired by Gwen Stacy. Yeah, I know... I know about Gwen. Uh, and I... Again, I th at first I thought she was supposed to be Grim Stacy, but no, she's a Isekai character, from what I understand. Wow, that's a lot of gold. Basically, someone from the real world got sucked into the comics. That's that sort of thing. Repaired now. She can't apparently freely travel from her world to. Oh, she can. Apparently free. She can just go back and forth. Okay. I know she can like jump between the comic pages and stuff like that. Be very meta. Speed of 19? Yeah, thunder is enough. By the way, Hawkwind Dog, I just heard of something yesterday. Uh, or actually today, but it, the video was out yesterday. Uh, so, are you aware of uh, RuneScape? Apparently, old school, old school RuneScape just got an up, it just got an update, and it's that. They changed uh, your customization options from male and female to body type A and body type B. And you are forced to pick your pronouns. 
you know, old school RuneScape. Basically a 20 year old game. Yeah, that I think barely gets any updates. This is a thing. This is a thing that's happening. Tiki only takes 8 damage. I can live with that. And with the life sphere, Tiki's, like, fully healed. This is ridiculous. I think it's in Tiki's best interest to actually start trying to deal with the guy with Fortify. So we're gonna have Tiki go over here. We're gonna wait it out. She's in range of the hero, but not the sniper, and that's good. We want Marth up here. Alright. So Tiki's in range of the Earth Dragon. She's in range of this guy. She doesn't need healing, so we're good on that front. Uh, well, I don't know why they did that. They could have just added a third option instead of changing the already existing settings. And from what I understand, a lot of people... So from what I understand with old school RuneScape, when they add updates, they let people vote on what updates they want to add to the old one. Because, like, it takes a long time to go through the code and change very old code, right? So, with updates that people want, people vote for and they may change something. But this is something that was never voted upon. No one actually voted for this, it was just added in. Like, that's just what I'm hearing. Yeah. Not even games from 20 years ago... 20 years ago are safe. I mean, we already know Dragon Quest 3 is getting that... Uh, getting that change in the HD version. We already know that. But that's like a, a remake of an existing game. But yeah, anyway. It's just something I heard. are just kind of hanging out here. I think I'm going to have Ryan in range of this guy. And I already know, like, these guys didn't want to move. I already know that. So I think what I'm going to do... Attack at 26. 16. If... Attack of four, attack speed of 14, sack speed of 12. We are gonna wait. I'd rather get rid of the sniper first. Uh, let's just leave it. Tiki should be fine. She... Oh, that's a lot. Of, that's still a lot of damage. Oh, and we get the crit. We're hearing that Star Stardew Valley has the opposite thing going on. There's a part of the community that wants the options, and the devs haven't done it. Because they probably don't care. Interesting. Uh, and from what I heard with uh, Stardew Valley, it just got, like, its final big update. Oh, and Tiki got a crit. Tiki kind of needed that. Well, since Tiki's the only one that can seem to do damage to this guy, let's get rid of the Earth Dragon. Stardew Valley is still a game I need to pick up. I know I would enjoy it. I'm just distracted by so many other things. And I already know, based on how I play, like... Rune Factory or Harvest Moon. I know I can get sucked in. I just don't want to pick it up right now. <laughs> well, we got rid of the Earth Dragon, and that was an achievement. 
Mysterio. Oh, wait, Mysterio's in there? Okay. Second variant skin. Interesting. Interesting they bring in Mysterio. So wait, who need... Why do we need healers now if we could just swap the life sphere around for full heals? And again, full heal. It's a full heal. That's ridiculous. Did this guy attack me? He did not. Uh, I better not do anything. We got a Knight's Crest. We don't need that. Um, I'll, we'll let them hang out. Interesting that these guys are not attacking me. And Tiki's done. Honestly, I don't think we need to have her turn into a dragon again. I think the two uses that we use is good enough. I don't think she needs to do more. I'm gonna go ahead and let Ryan attack the sniper, since the sniper's not attacking me. And we got a crit. I was hoping for that. Good, got rid of the sniper. And now, since the sniper's taken out, but uh, I don't know if they're gonna do anything else, I am going to... Physic, Ryan, just play it safe. Okay. I think I'm gonna have Ryan go out to this guy, but I don't know what he actually does. So. Yeah. I think I'll send. Fina this way. Warren's gonna head down here. Someone should get in range of the sniper. And that may be Warren, although his attack speed is garbage. Man, Warren did not get good speed, did he? That's like, hold that's holding him back. And again, I already know that there's a secret shop here. I'm just not sure where. Right now, I'm thinking it's in this room over here that we can't get to yet. And that's that's core for a character in the Strike Force. We've core for one of the members of the it's pretty taunt tank. I see some stuff. to buff. His abilities are max out his abilities out, but he's not bad. He tanks so much. What does it mean to uh, core a character in that in that game? Is it basically just saying max out a character? does exactly what I thought it would do. It brings him down to 1 HP. Did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Okay. The mage didn't move. Which is interesting. Back at 21... Julian would die if this mage decided to attack me. I don't know if he is going to attack me. So... Hmm. What to do? Okay, hold on. Uh, this guy's attack is... 26. And he has attack speed of 12. I need to get someone right here. Oh my god, Warren, you're so slow. Even if you have the killer, you still get doubled. Man, why do I use you? Alright. I guess if I want to make this work safely, 
I'm gonna go ahead and let Tiki swap over the Life Sphere to Augma. Alright, attack at 26. Minus 19, so 7 damage. And now that I have got in range, uh, gone into the same room as Harden, now he's gonna send in he's gonna send in the bodyguard reinforcements. Means to use power cores to pull on an orb for shards for a character. And it's done when you want to unlock a character early. We don't do this, but since this team will be meta for a while. Oh, so it's basically just trying to get the full team right away. I already know, I do know these guys will move. Fortify. Swarm is not that bad. We go ahead and let Marth sand here. Uh, Julian. You know what? I'm gonna have Fee, Fee go this way. I think I might have Julian double back. I'm gonna have him go up here, grab the chest. Then come back down once the enemies are taken care of. I'm now wonder wondering if Castor would have been the better unit. attack speed. 12. Uh, can't double. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna have Ogma go ahead, go around here. Can we weaken? Oh, I'd rather weaken. And now if I use the killing edge, attack 10, I can't even double. Alright, well actually, I know what I could do. Marth goes here. Streamlabs, Shaney, he usually does. Yeah. It is what it is. Okay, Navar. Go ahead and surround him. Yeah, at least Streamlabs did win. win. At least we can agree on that. Okay. Yeah, Marth will probably be targeted and he's not going to get the full heal, but that's fine. Gonna have to deal with all this soon. There's just gonna be a lot of reinforcements. It'll probably be best for me to just hang out here and just let them come to me. That'll probably be what I have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have Julian head back up. And I think we're on the turn. More bodyguards. 
that's a lot of bodyguards. Choose your legend character drop Bernadette. Uh, soft counters of Ghost Ike. How so? Can you get the kill? Is it attack at 23. Yes. You should be able to. Especially if you get a crit. Oh no, you got hit. Okay. I am gonna let Ogma trade over the life sphere so that Marth gets fully healed. Navar backs out. It'll be best for me to get Ogma right here and then Marth out of the way. And that'll be the plan. were for female Robin and Bernadette, of course. And then we got Felix and Alphonse. Who's Alphonse? I'm trying to remember who Alphonse was. Was he also from Three Houses? Spams arrows until Gosyke dies. Uh, she has the Brave Effect and Desperation. She shoots four times. Al oh, Al oh, Alphonse from Heroes. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, the main dude, okay. Alright, Agma, you go right here. Marth, too far. Marth, you go here, and we trade over the life sphere, and we dance Marth out of the way just so he doesn't get hit. So yeah, she has the Brave Effect and Desperation, she just gets four attacks, okay, so that just deals with Ghost Eye, okay. Felix is not okay. He's not okay. I remember him being pretty good in Three Houses. If I'm correct, like, he was just really strong and very fast. I forget the specifics, though. Maybe he had a personal skill that made him very good. Forging bonds is boring. Has Robin gotten in a very good, like, position at all? Tanks wishes they were. Oh, what does he have? What does he have that makes him so good as a cab? And honestly, we're kind of set here. I think we're set. I may trade over a different iron weapon over, like a full one, but I think we're kind of set. 
You know what? I forgot to store the Draco shield. And Ryan's close. Julian. And the door. There we go. Yeah, Agma's not gonna die. He is not. She's only interested when she's being possessed by Grima. The not possessed versions are typically stronger. I mean, I, I guess that makes sense, I think. Oh, you poor fool. That was your mistake. At least another mage is not going to get close. You know, Agma, I wouldn't mind you leaving one alive for, like, Morin or something. Got a little bit of luck. Oh, okay. We just let the sniper stand in range. Okay, fine, be that way. Oh wait, was that the last set? Oh nope, there's still another set. Alphonse basically has 54 defense and 45 res, 47 res. His specials raises those by an extra 15 points, oh my god. So he's just the tank of all tanks. Okay. He's the best tank to ever tank. Okay. okay good. Magma didn't get the kill this time. Warren, if I were to attack with a 32 bow... Of 11. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Navarre, you need to trade over. Uh, let's just trade iron for iron for now. Warren, go ahead and grab your kill with the silver. He gets a flat DR, which can't be pierced. He lowers damage by 30% of his defense. Jeez, he's even a bigger tank. And I saw speed go up for Warren, and I forgot to trade over the iron weapon. Um, I'm gonna make this work then. He also applies those divine veins all the time. And as long as he's out on one of them, friend or foe, he's able to counterattack regardless of range. That sounds broken. Hold on, because I messed up. Let's okay, so trade this over. Trade this over. Trade this back. Equip the... Let's just go with the killer for now. Dance worn out of range. God, it, it just sounds broken. There's just skills upon skills upon skills that just feels like overkill. When everything's overkill, nothing is. Alright. 
Ryan should be able to survive. Hopefully. I messed up earlier, so let's just hope this works out. Julian. We got another Lady Sword. Interesting decision. Because it hasn't gotten the bonus effect for a long time. It's just a strong sword. Okay, he went after him. It's not necessarily what I was going for, but it just happened that way. Okay. You kind of want to max him out? I mean, he sounds good. Sounds really good. Oh, you're, you're going after Ogma. Okay. Good, we dodged. Hey, Juice, how's it going? This is actually my first attempt at this uh, map for today. You gotta head out, Hot Car and Dog? Well, uh, have a good day at uh, work the rest of your day. Hopefully we can actually beat this chapter. Man, what's going on, Juice? This is my first attempt at this chapter for today. And we've already made it past the meteors. You see, I found out what the life sphere actually does. But I didn't find that out soon enough. I only found that out when I went to face against the dragon. I found out what the life sphere, uh, the reason how I got farther was due to the fact that I had the silent staff. I utilized the silent staff not knowing it affected everyone. Fix the entire freaking map. Didn't know that, but it worked out. Wait, wait, is that the last of the bodyguards? Ogma is now just unstoppable. That might be the last of the bodyguards. Ryan, you need to get out of here. Can Warren grab the kill? Let's try... let's try the steal. 28. Minus 13, that's 15. Yes. I'm trying to feed Warren a few kills if possible. He needs the speed. And then let's go ahead and dance him out of the range. You just be... Because the thing is, it shouldn't be more than five minutes, but you're going to be lurking for a bit. Mm, it's all good. What are you trying to work on at the moment? And while this is happening, Ogma is just going to stand there and tank everything. Maybe weaken some guys, maybe get rid of some others. I mean, we're at a pretty good spot right there. Yeah, it's too bad with the late. They gave us a new lady sword, but yet it hasn't really been able to actually be used in a long time. I don't care if that got sealed. Oh no, Agma took five damage. Honestly, the mage is what I'm scared of the most. Agma just getting those 20% crits. He's going to town. Oh good, he dodged the mage. Get out of here. Five damage. I should be able to get rid of him with Warren. Got a little bit of luck. Yeah, we only have so many bodyguards left. 
going very well. Oh, the life, the life sphere is ridiculous. It really is. Attack of 28. Yeah, we could just use the steel. But yeah, if I knew that's what the life sphere actually did, I would have given it to Tiki turn one. And just let her just take out everything. Skill speed defense. HP. Perfect. She he really needs the speed. So Ryan has a speed of 20. Yeah, Warren's falling behind when it comes to that. Agma, distract the archer. It's going to save you. Actually, it's going to save everyone else. I'm so glad Agma's just too strong. Uh, the sniper moved first. The sniper's like, I will block the other sniper from from you. Now you cannot hit my buddy. But I can hit you. Eleven, you're good. See, Warren's attack speed is actually pretty low, so I can't put him in range. He'll just get doubled. So we need to dance that dance of joy, get him out of range, and just let Agma just fully heal himself. It's totally gonna get rid of Ogma, I swear. It's gonna work this time. This is very slow, but this is the way, this is the Fire Emblem experience. We wanna safely get rid of guys. too good at this. He's too good. His defense is already like one point away from capping. There we go. Warren, you need that attack speed. Strength, weapon level, resistance, and HP. No speed, but we... We got an extra point. Oh, we're capped on strength now. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I would say he's now comparable to Ryan, but I think Ryan is still better. Did we just get really lucky on Castor's uh, level ups in book one? Granted, I really got lucky with the shards on Ryan, I think. Oh, Ryan has- or Warren has two more defense, so he's more tanky, but... And if he's on his horse, he's even tankier. So that's the benefit. And he has more movement. What are you doing, Molly? You being weird? Yeah, you are. You being weird. I think the hero, yeah, the hero should be attacking. Don't worry.
worry, I will beat the boss. It's just gonna take a little bit. There's just so many archers around. Warren. Get your kill. You're now capped on strength, so this is the best you can do. Alright. Getting back out of the way. Obviously, Agma's gonna take out the, the mages. Again, if I really wanted to speed this along, I would have had Tiki transform again. But we don't need to use that up. Not right now. Actually, if I'm going to use it up, I'm going to use it against Warren. Or, not Warren, uh, Pardon. He didn't get the skill, so didn't have to worry about it anyway. Okay, looking at this, I think next turn the sniper is just gonna get in the way. So it's gonna be a little bit before the other heroes attack. Doesn't his speed go up when he's on his horse? That might be part of it. His speed might be way better when he's actually on the horse. So this wouldn't be a problem. I think if I could get him one more kill to get him to level 6, we might be okay. I could give the sphere to someone else. Train them up. Oh, I forgot to be. I forgot I, I should have been moving Julian. Okay, no, one hero's moving. And then the sniper's gonna get in the way before the mage. This is so stupid. Alright, Warren, do your thing. Okay. Level 6. Weapon level, resistance, and HP. No speed, but getting more resistance is not bad, actually. get some resistance for Agma. damage. Yeah, the sniper's in the way first. Okay, Agma, do your thing. Weaken the sniper for someone else to get the kill. I don't know who. Who am I gonna have to get the kill? 
Um... Oh, it has to be someone that can attack from range. Melissa? I could have Melissa do it. Level 7, level 6. Level 14. You know what? I'm still gonna have Warren fight. I thought someone else would, you know, need it more. I guess not. Skill for Fina. Not that it really matters, because I don't actually use her to fight. The mage should attack first, I think. Letting Ogma get the kill, then the hero will attack. Oh no, 15 damage! Level 13, we got a little bit of HP. Now for the hero. Dodge, weaken. because this is stupid. Warren goes ahead and attacks. <laughs> Level 7. Skill, luck, defense, and HP. No speed, but we'll take it. We will take it. Okay. And Warren gets out of range, and we just got one sniper left. Just one left. Ogma just being a champ this entire time. Ogma weaken the sniper. And then we'll let Warren get the kill. Just like normal. Now this section's done. Done with all the reinforcements. Julian should have been moving a while ago. I keep forgetting to move him. Alright. Now that's done. Uh, we gotta get rid of this guy with Fortify. We gotta get rid of this guy with Bulgon. What's the best way to handle it? Theoretically, he could move here. He's just not going to. I already know that. I already know he's not going to move. And then I could just get Ogma to, like, Armor Slayer the others. I can maybe get Navar to do that. Just get, let him do something. If I put Ogma right here, he should get attacked by the mage. You know what? Let's let Navar use the Armor Slayer. He hasn't really gotten to do much. Uh, yeah. 
we'll get there. Not moving. Yeah, I remember these guys just didn't really want to move. Steel, steel. Gonna have to deal with Swarm. If Warren were to go to attack, he can't reach. If Ryan were to go to attack... With the Silver, attack at 33, minus 6. You could just one-hit KO. We're gonna do just that. I did not realize he wasn't at full health. Man, I wish I noticed that. Uh, honestly, I could probably let Ogma go here. We'll go trade over the Life Sphere just so he gets fully healed. Goes. Oh wait, Julian should move. The mage is out of the way. Yeah, I was worried about that, but I knew he would have the HP to survive. Or just dodge it, that works too. There, get that full heal. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, trade it over to Navar. I'll go ahead and let Warren look on this guy. 29. Text me to 7. Ugh, fine. You heard Robin's stuff? She's kind of average, except she also has a divine vein, which what she does is place destroyable walls on the battlefield. So she can stall an enemy's movements, basically. That's basically what she can do. What? I'm gonna let Ogma stand here just to block. So I can let Navar do this. Above average. Since her kit is basically just do a ton of damage and get her special ready to on every turn, right? But it sounds like just being able to place obstacles in the way can help stall. So that doesn't sound that bad. To, to distract him. Ogman has the HP and the defense. Oh, I was gonna say, who are you healing? Uh, is he back at full health? Kind of. Okay. Ryan, just do your thing. Warren would have had it if he could double. But he can't. There we go. Next. I'll go ahead and let Navar get rid of this guy now. Defense and two HP this time. Look at that. Navar is already actually not that bad. Could use more defense, but you know, a lot of people do. And a guiding ring. Okay. A lot of promotion items in these chests, and a gold, and a lot of gold. All right. So. We're about ready to start dealing with, uh, Harden. 
Whoever needs, whoever fights him needs to hold the, the light sphere. And just for, just in case, they'll also hold the life sphere as well. Now, I don't know who should attack him. He's a heavy armor unit, so it makes me think I should use a magic unit. But it seems like whoever attacks him needs to hold it. And maybe that's the only person that can. Some soft games are just playing the victim sometimes. You're done. You're done playing the victim. It's never bad to use cheese build. Uh... Oh, I don't know if this is like a, a Souls-like game or not, but have you heard of the game that's like, I guess it's coming out this month. It's like, what was it? Like, uh, it's basically a Sun Wukong game. Uh, I think it's called Black Myth Wukong or something like that. I, I kind of want to look into it. It's the story of the Monkey King from Journey of the West. I don't want to look into it, because I hear it's like... Yeah, you know what? I'm hearing good things about it. Well, the game's journalists are not liking it, but that's because, you know, the studio doesn't want to bend, bend to their will. So, if it, pisses, if, it, if it makes the game journalists mad, that's a good sign in my book. Okay, hold on a second. The Armor Slayer was at 9. How come... How come it didn't go down? It's from those Rage Bait contact players. Uh, I hear it's more of like... The controversy is that... The developers are not bending the knee to... Like the game journalists and like the the, 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 the sweet baby inks of the uh, of the uh, oh what the consultants basically. So that's all, that's a good sign on my on my book. I have attack twenty five. It's thirteen. Well, okay, Navar's fine. Navar's fine if he gets hit. How come the armor swear's weapon didn't go down? It was at nine. I'll scroll really fast over the years, and people look to YouTube now. Oh yeah, they. And it makes you. How come the Armor Slayer's weapon didn't go down? It's still at 9. Is that... I was gonna say, does the life... Does the life sphere have something to do with that? But no, his... Agma's iron weapon was going down. And he had it. Star sphere effect? Is it a star sphere effect? I want to know more about the star sphere. The only one we don't currently have equipped is the Geosphere. But the Geosphere does affect accuracy and crit rate, I believe. Okay, yeah, Julian, you just need to head back. Is it a Star Sphere effect? I want to look this up. I'm looking up the Star Sphere, specifically. Because that was not going down. But yeah, Ogma was not holding on to the Star Sphere. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, Star Sphere. I want to look at not the like mystery of the emblem. Prevents the holders' weapons from wearing out and boosts their stat growth by thirty percent. 
It is a star sphere effect. Oh, that's insane. Oh, you could do a lot with that. I didn't know that's also what it did. How come he's not... Oh, he's not dead. Star sphere is very good. Combine that with the life sphere. Uh... Combine that with... Well, actually, I don't know what the Light Sphere specifically does other than fight off the Dark Sphere. As far as I know, that's the only thing it does. There must be some other effect that I might be missing. But yeah, speaking of uh, the Wukong game, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's only going to be PC and PS5. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I can't, I personally don't think I could stream it because we already tried Elden Ring and it wasn't working out. So if I can't handle Elden Ring, I certainly can't handle Wukong unless I get a PS5 for myself and I still don't have one, so that's the thing. But yeah, I want to look into it and see what it's actually about. Okay, Navar, go ahead and do your thing. Yeah, the Star Wars. In the Star Sphere New Mystery of the Emblem, it looks like a new Mystery of the Emblem that only does the sap boost. It doesn't do the, the weapon degradation thing. Although, apparently, it prevented the weapons from wearing out in the first game, and in the first game's remake. Interesting. Okay, so I think we can start getting rid of Swarm. I'll let Navar have it. Back out. Alright. There is a secret shop here. I'm gonna have Julian head over here and open this chest as well. And the ships, I think the secret shop is somewhere in that room. What's going on on Twitch's end, Juice? By the way, I found out what uh, I found out what the Star Sphere does. I found out it also makes it to where weapons do not degrade. I just found out about that. I was confused on why the Armor Slayer wasn't going down. But now that I know, it's the Star Sphere. And I'm looking it up. Apparently it does that in the first game as well. Strength, luck, weapon level, defense, and HP. Damn. Text won't send to phone when using dex desktop now? Like, are you talking about Twitch chat? left is the healer. I'm gonna let Ogma go ahead and get the full heal. Wow, the life sphere is so good. I could probably just have, like, Navar fight him with the armor slayer and just stand there menacingly. Or I could maybe even let Marth do it. Password recovery needing two-factor code. Oh, okay. Is that what you were trying to work on? Like, just trying to log back in or something? Yeah, just having infinite... Oh my god, infinite Master Swords. Just infinite Master Swords. gonna let Agma go back here and we're gonna start passing the life sphere around and see who needs healing. But yeah, I haven't looked up what else the light sphere does. I'm gonna wait on that for a second. As far as I'm aware, all the light sphere does is let us attack Ar uh, Harden. 
because he has the Dark Sphere. That's all I assume it does. If it does anything else, I don't know. And you told me before that the... The Geosphere affects accuracy and crit rate. Just trading over that and get full heals while I can. I might try to have Marth uh, be the one to fight. Yeah, I haven't attempted him yet. Right now he has an attack of 40. An attack speed is 12. Attack of 40. My defense is 12. We'll grab map. Boxing hard and then dumb. Yeah. Don't wonder. If the first half of this game is every one, is there any need to play it on the NES? Uh there are five chapters cut in this game for book one. So NES version, there's five chapters that are in that version that are not here. But if you don't care about that, then you don't need to bother. But it, you'll still get the main story. And hell, some of the maps that were cut is reused in... Uh, like in this game. Like, you'll still fight with some of the maps. Okay, we won't double, but I think with an attack of 40... Uh defense of 9, we will survive. We just never want to attack him. I think I'll let Mark go ahead and be the one to fight Harden. I'll just give him all the spheres. A few cut maps are a part of Book 2 st story-wise, so, like, you'll at least mess around with those maps, but for different story reasons, obviously. Uh, NES one is really hard to play, even Gaiden. SNES makes like, everyone very playable. It is it is playable, but there is a few, uh, let's just say, quality of life changes that are added later on. How is the DS version? I remember hating when I first got it. The DS one, like... Because I played that one, too. Uh, the DS one... Graphics-wise, looks worse. Honestly, I think the DS games look the worst out of any of the Fire Emblem games, because it looks like bad 3D, like, p early PC model quality. I think that's the best way I could put it. Gameplay-wise, I do think it probably just fixes a lot of things. It's more accurate to the NES one, add and it, added, it adds more guidance chapters, so there's more to play. There's more content in the DS one. Uh, in the DS one, it just looks the worst. I think that's probably the best way to say it. But if you're already having trouble getting through that one, it still might be a hard sell. Playing my harder difficulties, right? Maybe we'll try again. Maybe I wouldn't stress about playing the first game. If you never played any of the other Fire Emblem games, or if you barely played any of them, I wouldn't stress about playing uh, the original. I, I, I would focus on other games. Oh yeah, the DS version has class changing if you wanted to. You did beat three houses. Okay, that's something. Is that the only one you've played? Oh, just a double sword? Okay. About to practice Path of Radiance. Dude, Path of Radiance is one of my favorites. If you're going to be playing that, that will be a good time. Okay, so I'm going to make some trades. First of all, Star Sphere, go here. Let's trade over the Armor Slayer, because I don't know if that's better. I'll do this. Bubsy the Bobcat 3D looking graphics. Honestly, you're not wrong. I kept it 4 and 5. 4 and 5 are good picks, too. You played a bit of Gage, Blazing Bay, Blade, Secret Stones, and Bite Blade. 
Okay. The GBA games are good picks. But since you already played through them, I would recommend Path of Radiance or go with for or go with Genealogy. I think those are the only ones I would probably recommend since you already played through some of the other ones. I, I guess you could go with the 3DS games like Awakening and Shadows of Valentia. Those are other options. Uh, item, trade, Marth. There we go. And I think we can get Marth into position. Found out how disappointing it is in Binding Braid. He is. Remember how cool he was in Smash? Uh, preach to the choir. I say the same thing. Everyone says the same thing. After a while, I just use Roy as the pack mule. Oh, you haven't even beaten the GBA games yet. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Well, if you haven't beaten them, I would maybe consider... Maybe finish playing through them. But the other games I would recommend would be Path of Radiance, Genealogy... Uh... And I guess if you want to go 3DS, Awakening or Shadows of Valentia would be fun choices. Okay. Mark, if you were to attack, which I'm not, Armor Slayer has an attack of 33. Armor Slayer is stronger. My attack speed is 11. His attack speed is 12. We're good. So I'm going to stand here. We are going to equip the Armor Slayer. We're going to wait. Not really interested in the 3DS ones? Okay, it's all good. Maybe consider playing them at a later date. So yeah, other than the GBA, I recommend Path of Radiance and Genealogy. Rebels, did you come here to get yourselves killed? I'll show you to fear my Gradivus that I stole from Camus! <laughs> How ironic. The only reason he's angry is because his wife loves Camus more than him, and he's using Camus' weapon. Well. That's a, that's a good song for Harden, but like, wow, Marth, you suck. Am I missing something? Are we, wait, are we going to break the Gradivus? Is that what we're going to do? Because I could just unequip Marth of a lot of things. Oh, actually, nothing's going to break anyway. One damage. Let's go. It's FEA all over again. Let's go, baby. It's not going to work because he's on a heal spot. Am I missing something? Uh, I can't use... I can't use an item. Okay, what... Am I missing something about the life... Uh, the light sphere? Is there something I'm missing? And look, I could have, like, a mage attack him. I could do that. But they might not survive. Come on. Okay, your attack speed is 12. Lind's current attack speed is 19. With thunder. If I were to equip Aura... Oh, Lind would be fine with 14 right there with Aura. And I get a stacker. It's the question is, do, can she survive? The power of the light sphere is the counter of the dark sphere. Basically just means we can actually hit him, right? So, yeah. If the Demon King was on a heal spot, I don't think I would have won that challenge. Exactly. FE8, uh, that would have been impossible. Yeah, we might need to just let Lind handle this, maybe. Okay, hold on. Your attack is 40, but your defense is 12. Lind can't handle this. She doesn't have the HP or the defense. And let's be honest, Melissa's no better. It might just have to go to Ogma. He has five more strength. Yeah, this is going to have to go to Agma. Or Tiki, for that matter. 
All right, Marth, we tried. One damage is not gonna be enough. Agma, you are the champ. Do that. All right. If I were to... 32. But 38 damage with the Armor Slayer. Actually, you know what? The crit rate might be better. I think I'd rather have the high crit rate. Well, actually, no. Yeah, it doesn't ignore defense. Yeah, we'll go with the Master Sword. Wait. I do get a crit. What's my crit rate? 50, 20. Yeah, we'll go with Master. We're gonna wait. Agma! You are the chosen one! You are the descendant of Henri! Playing Path of Radiance via the Wii, since Radiant Dawn has a save transfer. It does. All you need is the GameCube save file, though. But yeah, there is a save transfer. Ah yes, Ogma, you're dealing 12 damage. You're doing way better than what Marth could do. Ogma, you're in danger. Are really? I don't know. I, I think he's fine. I think we're good. I, I think we'll just let Ogma handle this. Oh no, Harden's healed. Oh no, 21 damage! Wow! This, this is, uh, this is definitely interesting. the ad play out? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Agma's not getting that crit rate, that's for sure. You know what? I'll let the ad play out for a second. I'm gonna just check a few things. Uh, let's see what's going on. seconds. And look, Hot Corn Dog won this one because I didn't go for the heal. Hey look, Hot Corn Dog, you won this one. I didn't go for the heat I didn't go for the heal. Alright. I waited around. Ogma? If I were to attack, 32 minus 20, that is 12. We could get the KO. Oh, you gotta head out, Bueno? Have a good day. Have a good rest of your day. And we defeated Harden. Luck, defense, and HP. And we got the grab of this. And we got the Dark Sphere. And, you know, we have to crit on the final hit, you know, we gotta win in style. Marth, your highness, I have finally awakened from my deep dream. Your highness, I am deeply sorry. I fought with my inner demon. However, I was too weak. I resisted with all my might, but I still lost. I hope for your highness's hand to end my life. That way I could be saved. Your highness, Nina, please take care of Nina. She, I hope you can tell her in the end. I still loved her. I hope she can forgive me. Uh, no seizing the map. Oh, wait, no seizing the map. Wait, 
Or is it just a cutscene? Okay, no, it's just a cutscene. We got the binding shield. It's been restored. Oh, I can't benefit off those orbs. And I just realized, uh, I should be looking for a, uh, secret shop. Is there a secret? I know there's a secret shop on this map somewhere. I think it's time to look it up. We're about to win. Okay. Where's the secret shop? Right now, Julian's just checking every square. There isn't? I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Oh, final chapter. Okay, final chapter. Final chapter. Got it confused. I thought it said 20, but no. Final chapter. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's move on. Marth, it's finally over. Now the world is safe. Look, the princesses are over there. Sister, and there's Princess Nina, and Lena and Maria as well. Marth, you finally came. I'm so happy. Damn, you're carrying the binding shield. My illusion has been shattered. Come, dark priests. It has come to this. We must resurrect the Shadow Dragon immediately. Oh no, it's Garnef. Huh? Is that Garnef? He and his men have pretended to be the princesses. Hmm, but what are they planning? They said something about resurrecting the Shadow Dragon. So my sister was indeed taken by Garnef. Your Highness, I apologize for interrupting you, but Goto has come. Huh? Goto? Please call him here. Marth, you have done well. You have you have all five spheres in your possession. Because of your efforts, the lost binding shield has finally been restored. Yes, the five spheres have attached to the royal shield. So this is the binding shield. But Goto, what should I do next? Oh, is uh, this a remix song in Thracia? Or Thracia reuses this one, I should say. After seeing Garnef's expression, it seems he really has taken my sister and the others. I can't just leave them. I understand your feelings. But you must first restore the seal on the Earth Dragons. Those beasts will soon awaken from their slumber. When they appear from the ground, they will burn everything and create hell on Earth. Go, Marth. Send the awakened dragon, Earth Dragons, back to the darkness of the seal. Well, we completed chapter 20. I know there's a few more chapters. So if I'm correct, if we fail to get every sphere, that's where it would have ended, right? So chapter 21. Under the guidance of Archsage Goto, Marth and the others headed to Medon's north, uh, headed to Medon's north, to the Wyvern Valley. Our sister Nina, Maria, and Lena. Yeah, I know. It is an undeveloped region, populated with flying dragons, and loop ruled by barbarians. But there is no time to stop, because the fate of the world is in Marth's hands. Just really rushing through the intro, intro the introduction, aren't we? Okay. I know we got a few chapters to go. Let's see how well we can do this. Anything specific here? Devil's Axe. Okay, what do you have? You have Meteor, but I could I could deal with one. By uh, dragons. More shops, devil's axes. Too bad I can't utilize the star sphere. That's uh, too bad. I can't use up. I, I can't just let my weapons just not go down. And... Okay, we got the guy that lowers me down to 1 HP. 
There are five shops? I see four here. Okay. We've got more dragons. Let's see. Okay. Nothing too special in terms of, like, something I need to keep and uh, make sure to get an item or something. Alright, let's see. Is there anyone I wanted to bench? Yeah, Yumina. I don't want Yumina. Uh, bring Paula back. Let's see. Double check items very quick. Ryan's almost out of a killer. Do we have another one? No, we don't have another killer. Oh no! Oh wait, no, that's Lawrence. Never mind. Okay. We'll just keep what we have. Uh, let's trade the Worm Slayer back to Marth, I guess. Uh, Fina's good. Deposit everything. There we go. And I think we're good. Save. Jacob, where is this? Is it is this Medon or Deluna? We're right in at the country's border. This is where Medon's wyverns are born. However, these lands are ruled by savage barbarians. Even Medon soldiers are afraid to enter. So this is this is the Wyvern Valley. Anyway, Jagan, we need to hurry. I feel like something's going to happen to my sister and the others. I have a bad feeling. It doesn't seem like there's anything too special about this. Oh, new music. Well, I think Tiki should now, uh... Start flying towards dragons, I guess. We'll let Tiki do her thing. And I don't know who we're going to send against the axe users, but... Hey, extra EXP, I guess. Okay, I'm going to let... I'll just let Navar check this house out. This is Wyvern Valley. Don't go any further. Otherwise, I fear you'll be burnt to death by the dragons. Thanks. It's not like I couldn't have figured that out myself. Yeah, we got some axe users with the Devil's Axe. On the other side of the mountains is a small hill called the Dragon's Trot Table. Recently, I heard there's been eerie warring sounds coming from there. Grandfather and the others are afraid a demon is about to awaken. We must get close to that place. So this is the dragon's table or the dragon's altar. Okay. We got a village there. So this is the seas point right here. Okay. We need Marth to go over there. I could warp him, but I don't think that's necessary. I am not seeing another thief. So I think we'll be fine. Uh, Fina, go ahead and dance Tiki. We'll have Tiki start taking out some dragons. I knew we were going to lose the Star Sphere at some point. It's just kind of too bad. And Marth's uh, Binding Shield. Does it actually do anything new? Sheet over here. I know of Invincible. I have never seen it. Why? What's going on on um, Invincible? Ah, there's the thief. Sure, it's cool use, but you'll see still opens chest. Up. Okay, so it has another use. At least it does something else. And also, I guess, you know, 
breaks through illusions, I guess. One of the few Fire Emblem games where the Fire Emblem actually does something, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, other Fire Emblem games, where the Fire Emblem is actually a, an item in the game, it's never really used, is it? I forget, did Awakening actually use the Fire Emblem? Although, I, it might have just been a plot thing. Where it's like, oh, it powers up the whatever. Like the Falchion or something. I didn't realize Rovian was in range. Oh, well. The main character was sent to another universe and comes back to a bunch of bad guys. He's entered a Fortnite universe, run the crown, and came back to his universe with a sniper to hit the bad guy with. So wait, are you saying that Fortnite is canon to Invincible? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay, we're level 7. We're also level 7. If I were to use the iron, 38 damage, not enough. But I could double. Yeah, we'll be fine. He didn't shoot the bad guy, he used the sniper as a blunt weapon, but he's but that still means that Fortnite's canon to Invincible. It's kinda weird that to know what happened, you have to go to this other completely different source material to find out what actually happened, you know? Marvel kind of already has that sort of thing with their stuff, but yet that's all comics related. But imagine if it's like, oh, to find out what happens in Invincible, you must play this uh, video game that has nothing to do with Invincible to find out what happens next. What? Who would think that's a good idea? Well, maybe I can have Marth fight. It's implied you went there. There's no comic or even a story in Fortnite. He just leaves, comes back with Fortnite, and everyone's next to it. At least, yeah, that is a good point. Fortnite doesn't have a plot. Or at least the modes that people play, anyway. So, it's not like you actually have to... You just need to know that he went to Fortnite and that's it. Okay. Oh, right. I'm gonna need to do something about that thief. There's multiple thieves. I could just warp Marth to the village. And just get it done. But maybe I can save uh, Warp for later. Strength, speed, weapon level, HP. Oh, it makes me think of... Uh, I was going to say My Hero Academia, but no, it's not actually as bad as I thought it was. With My Hero Academia, I think it's like... They did season four, and then they did a movie. But the movie is canon, but it's not the next part of the story. It actually, like, skipped over an arc or two. So it's like, what's the point of watching this movie that's canon if the anime hasn't even covered the starts with parts right before it? I thought that was always stupid, but that's a little bit different. So what happens in that one DLC engage where the heroes are the bad guys? Uh... That was just an alternate, uh, oh right, that was an alternate reality. Yeah, that whole DLC, you go to an alternate reality where, uh, Colgate-chan is the opposite gender than the one you picked, so that's how you know it's a, it's a parallel universe. Uh, the four hounds are good now. So you recruit them by the end of it. And, 
uh... Yeah, uh, alternate universe, that's the long and short of it. Why? Okay. I thought you were there for the DLC for a little bit. But it's also been a while, so... How does it end? You beat the alternate self, and they have two... No, um, first of all, your alternate self was already dead. That's why I went to ship. Uh, because remember, Divine Dragon and everything. Um... You were there at the beginning and you got these. Okay. Uh, yeah, your alternate character self was already dead. That's why the world went to shit in the first place. Uh... All the characters that were once good, good that were once good guys, but are now bad guys, are actually just risen, the undead, and two of your party members that you start with, Nell and Nil. I forget which one's which, but one of them actually basically causes the zombies to exist, and that one's the like the true bad guy. Because people bullied him? I think? I, I forget all the details. Do one of the dragons move down here? Not yet. Uh, but by the end of it, three of the four uh, hounds survive. And then they join your team permanently, even in the main plot. You know, the four, the three that never actually joined your team. So now you have the four hounds in the main story. Uh, and then, what else? There was something else. And then Nell and Nil join your team, I guess, for the main plot if you want. You know, Nell is redeemed, or Nil is redeemed, one of them, I forget which. I, uh, uh, probably not. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, they kind of really... I hate the plot of Engage so much. Because they could do things with it, but they never do. Because remember, uh... Man, I was about to say Byleth, but that's not his name. Medieval zombie apocalypse game would go hard. Yeah, probably. Um, God, I actually forget his name. <laughs> uh, Pepsi Coon or Colge uh, Pepsi Man or Colgate Chan. Um, man, I had something in my head. I always have something in my head, and it always leaves. A leer. Jeez, that's how forgettable he is. I actually forgot the name of the, of the main pro tag. Yeah, it is a leer. But yeah. Uh, no, you don't take over the universe. You were just kind of summoned to help out. Play heroes helps me remember names. Yeah, probably. And you're dead. Use your meteors. Okay. prop going. Oh, yeah, I remember what I was going to say. Uh, Alir, like, his whole thing at the very beginning was that he was deathly afraid of Risen, right? But they never really do anything with that. Like, at the beginning, he was scared of Risen, but it doesn't really mean anything for that long. And it also doesn't affect anything gameplay-wise. And you think they would do something with that with the DLC as well? Because the whole reason he's fighting all of Alir's friends that you recruit along the way is that they're risen. Again, it doesn't really amount to that much, but it almost does. I remember you find out that Nell or Nil, he would immediately die in Call of Duty Zombies. He would. You'd be too scared, even though gameplay-wise it actually doesn't actually translate to anything. Um, 
But yeah, like, gameplay... I, I did think, like, gameplay-wise, you could've easily done something to where... Yeah, he's deathly afraid of... Of, uh, the Risen. And so if he ever fights Risen, he gets an attack debuff or something. He gets a stat debuff. You could've made that a gameplay thing, but no, they never went with that. Because that would be too interesting. And then over the course of the game, he just gets over his fear. Like, you could have done something with that, but you chose not to. And actually make it a gameplay thing. But, uh... I remember in the DLC, you'll fight some of your, uh... The people that you recruit along the journey. And then it was either Nell or Nil. I forget... Forget who's who. You find out they're actually just killing the the people you fight. And you think it's gonna be like this big thing, be like, oh my god, she's just murdering these people. Uh, this is a moral gray situation. And then no, it's not a moral gray, because you find out they're zombies, and it's just like, oh, you got you had a storyline here that had moral gray, but no. You just got rid of it and be like, no, they're zombies. There's no, there's no moral gray here. It's all good. I hate Engage so much, at least in plot. When it comes to the plot, I really hate Engage. Because it can just, it, it has concepts it can do, but it just refuses to use it. Gameplay-wise, Engage is one of the best ones. Story-wise, it's one of the worst. But we all know that. We've gone through Engage. Juice has gone through Engage. Not the DLC, but you've gone through Engage. That's really bad. That's really bad. It's, it's kind of like Awakening and Fates all over again. <laughs> Awakening's plot, well, not the best. It, Awakening had, it had a decent plot, and then Fates went downhill. Get a killer story and better maps for the next epic game. You know, the only way they could probably actually do that is if they just remake a good game, like Genealogy. And be like, wow, this is what good maps were right. We must battle. Go to the right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Intelligent Systems, honestly. Honestly, it just felt like Fire Emblem Engage was more concerned with uh, just creating new characters for Fire Emblem Heroes. It felt like Fire Emblem Heroes like felt like the higher priority. And that's why I feel like we got all the engage rings and all that. Okay, because yeah, you can have a normal cast of like what, 30 characters is what a Fire Emblem game typically has lately. But it's not enough just to have that. Let's give everyone an engage ring. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot to do with that concept in heroes we can literally have like 10 not joking with a single character you could pair them up with engage rings in in uh, heroes and you can have like how many variants you could have a guy like, good 40 variants of for a single character because of all the engage rings. And when I say variants, obviously, it's like a Leer paired with Marth, and that's one character. A Leer paired with Marth, but they're evil, so that's another character. When playing through engage, I just. That's just all I saw. It's just like, oh, this is just a way to get multiple variants for Fire Emblem Engage. Or Fire Emblem Heroes, my bad. It's kind of like with Fire Emblem Three Hopes, you know, the 
kind of sequel to Three Houses, except not really. It's almost a mid quote, but even then, it's, that's not the alternate universe to Three Houses. Uh, when you boot up that game, and when you get to the time skip, which doesn't, it's only a few chapters to get to that, uh, you find out that it takes place not five years after the events of the first part of the game, it's like three years. And so everyone has like a completely different set of outfits. So once I saw that, I'm like, oh, this is just another way to get another set of three houses characters for heroes. Like a new variant set for each character. I hope that I'm hope I'm making sense. <laughs> It feels like ever since, uh, well, Heroes came out when Shadows of Valente came out, so it feels like after Three Houses, it just felt like they were prioritizing what new variants can we get for Heroes, and how many can we milk. That's just what it feels like. Marth, can you deal 18 damage? Not a single hit. Uh, I'll go ahead and let. Actually, no. Uh, Cecile. And you got the kill. 26 minus 13. Your attack is 33. Your attack is 33, but buddy. No, I actually can't survive. Brody? Your defense 12. Okay, you're fine. Hey, look, we got a crit. Skill and luck. Eh. It's okay. Alright. Katria did not get hit. We got one dragon to deal with. That's easy to handle. Let's first let Katria weaken. Yeah, with Fire Emblem, what do you think the next game is actually going to be? It's obviously going to be on the next, uh, it's going to be on the next Nintendo console, the Switch 2, basically. But the question is, is it going to be a new game or is it going to be a remake? If it is a remake, what do you think it's going to be? I would say I feel like we would hear about something soon, but Engage just came out last year. If anything, we're not gonna probably not gonna hear anything about Fire Emblem for maybe another year. We still don't know about the next console. Like if if we, if we don't even know what's going on with the next console, we're definitely not gonna hear another Fire Emblem thing. I feel like if we're gonna hear about Fire Emblem soon, like a new Fire Emblem, it would have to be a like a translated version of like genealogy or something. I feel like that's the only thing that they could like tell us like right now. So that's why I'm thinking it's gonna be. That's why I think they're probably just waiting for the next console. Yeah, the signs point to genealogy. Because they were, like, heavily hinting at it. And Sigurd was, like, a big factor at the beginning of Engage. Strength, speed, luck, weapon level, HP. So it really does seem like they were really trying to push or hint at genealogy. 
but it makes you wonder. Uh, I think I can have Tiki go over here. She might be in range of some dragons. Makes you wonder when we are going to actually hear about the next console. I thought we were supposed to hear something this year, but we still haven't. Let Marth. No, I'll let Navarre fight. He can fight. Let's do something like this. I think I'll dance Marth and let him move on to the right. Oh, yeah, the signs point to four. If there is going to be a remake. But the next likely one would probably be, uh, like the GB, uh, like Roy's game. Oh no, another bot trying to make me buy bots, viewers. No, none of that. I think Julian's just kind of here. He's not really doing anything. So I think the second thief starts popping up once we get get on the right side of the mountains, because it didn't pop up right away last time. But now that I crossed the mountains, it did. Okay, Tiki, get rid of more jerk. Get rid of more Durgans. Perfect. I know my archers can do well against the dragons, but Tiki just does way better. Tiki's actually a pretty good unit. And I think it's mostly due to the fact that just transforming into a dragon can last at least five turns. I think that just makes Tiki a little bit better. But yeah, that thief is going to have to be taken care of. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll let Navarre go here. Oh, now you get the crit. Thanks, Navar. Six. Just a little bit of HP. Okay. Uh, Tiki, you should just get rid of the thief, I guess. It's not the best use of your skill, but... You know, get rid of it before it destroys the village. Square forward, Marth, and you can fight a barbarian. Catria, you can just move over here. We'll let Navarre have the barbarians. So they, I'll say this: in this game, it really seems like she does not needed to recruit anyone. It seems like she's not needed at all. So I didn't have to bring her. I probably would have been better off using Paula instead of Sheeta, or I should say prioritize Paula. And hell, I might have been better off once I had my third, I could have been better off using training Esta up instead. She probably would have been better than Sheeta.
It kind of seems like this game has like three map, th no, like four or five map themes. And we'll just reuse these like four or five, throw out like a good chunk of like story sections. Versus like, don't some other games like just have a new song for each map? Okay, Marth, let's see what you can do. Ah, uh, of course you get hit. What? No crit. Lame. I think we can hit him with a bow. I would say this chapter is kind of a breather one, but... It still has some things to rush to. But I think after last chapter, this was kind of breather. Oh, Tiki's done. Um, well, I could have Katria rush up here. Or do I want Sheeta to do that? Yeah, I'll let Sheeta do that. She needs a new iron. There you go. Number two, just a little bit of HP. Sheeta, you need strength. You need strength. Come on. Take resistance as well. Navar, you need healing. We're gonna have to restock, and this is probably our last big chance to restock on things. And with like four shops, it probably has everything. Fight the last one. Marth, you can't fail this guy. We need. Yeah, we need like an archer to fight first. We'll just go ahead and use the iron. Are we recruiting everyone and shooting for book two? Uh, sure. I'm not. When it comes to the achievements. Uh, what I'm looking through. I am missing three characters, but it looks like I haven't run into them yet. But yeah, uh, what, yeah, what's going on, Juice? I'm only missing three recruits right now. Yeah. Got to level 15. Uh, Mark just gets in range of the Barbarian. Yeah. It's two squares. I guess we'll just let my archers deal with the dragons. That'll probably be for the best. Or no one left behind two. There was four maidens. Um, if I were to take a guess, as someone who hasn't played this game before, uh, Maria's not actually recruitable. Or if she's not, it's not that she's not recruitable. She's already like you get her at like the beginning or the end of a chapter because the recruit ones are usually ones that you have to actually talk to mid-chapter or get to a village if it's a character that you get at the beginning of a chapter it's not an achievement
Like, does that answer your question, Juice? Or, uh, maybe there's something I'm missing. But yeah, it says Maria is not one of those, uh, Maria was not one of them, but she was captured. So it makes me think she might just be recruited in some other way. We'll find out. Again, when we're done with the game, we'll go through all the achievements and see what I'm missing, and then we'll make a decision on whether or not to be like, eh, let's get it all, or nah, let's just move on to the next thing. It really depends on what I would need to do. Right now I'm gonna let Sheeta just do her thing. I kind of want to try to prioritize getting Martha XP if possible. Try to get him to level 20. That's why I'm trying to have him fight a good chunk of barbarians. I should just use the steam sword. Oh well. If we want an Effie game with story, it'll probably be from a remake. Exactly. Heroes is a cash cow that's cheap to maintain. Of course, they'll put all their eggs in one basket, since Heroes is probably the only thing intelligence system got to the names besides three houses. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard me say this earlier, but it feels like after three houses, they just kind of made new games to just make new characters or new variants for heroes specifically. Or just make new ways to get more variants in heroes. For example, Three Hopes, the Warriors spinoff of, uh, of Three Houses. It's a three-year time skip instead of a five-year in that game. And... Every, if I'm correct, every character has a different outfit than in Three Houses, so you know what that means. That's a new, that's one new variant of each character from Three Houses that they can add into Heroes. And then it feels like with Engage, they're like, okay, we gotta make a bunch of new characters. We cannot just make new variants of older characters all the time. You know, that's, uh, we can't keep doing that. We gotta create new ones. But then someone's like, I got an idea. Why not just have them... Let's take the parrot mechanic from Heroes and then put that in the new game so then we can take all these different parrot concepts back into Heroes for multiple combinations. For multiple characters. Yeah, genius. Someone hired... Someone to give this man a raise. Three Hopes only has like six or seven characters for Oh, you're talking about in Heroes, right. I'm saying, like, because everyone has a different outfit, that just gives them more characters to potentially bring in along over time, if they ever wanted to. Okay, so... Maybe I need Tiki to... Wait, you have an attack of 16. 32 is the max. Warren can survive. He has the HP. Okay. I need to get someone... right here. Him? Nope. Too far away. Oh, so the seasonal stuff in Heroes got even more variation? Of course they did. How so?
But yeah, the fact that, like, like I predicted would happen, with the engaged characters, they had a a variant of Alir paired up with Marth, specifically the Ghost Marth from Engage. And as soon as I saw that in Engage, I'm like, they're gonna do this with every character, with every variant. And then the fact that there are evil variants in Engage just means, oh, you can have Alir paired up with Marth, but you can also have Alir, like evil Alir, paired up with evil Marth. That's that just double the. That's just double the uh, characters right there, just by making evil variants because they were in engage. This is canon to engage. It really feels like Fire Emblem Engage exists just to give a get a bunch of characters for uh, heroes in the least amount of new character designs as possible. For, you know, at the least amount you can get away with with a brand new epic game. Because again, think about it like this. You can have a Leer. You can have evil Leer. Then you can have any of those pair up with any of the engage bracelets. Or the engage rings. Any of them. Like, just think about that. Base, oh, you can have base Alir, Alir paired with Marth, Alir paired with uh, uh, Selica, and that's uh, how many how many rings and bracelets are there. Like, think about it. And then you can make evil variants of all of those. Those are all canon. Guess what? You just now made like like thirty variants of a single character for heroes. And as soon as you told me they actually did the Alir Marth combo, I, I just say I called it. Uh, surprisingly, it doesn't seem that way. They have a schedule of which game to release for what time. Yeah, they have a schedule, but that still means that they could just take anything from that list of uh, choices at any time, is more what I mean. Sacred Stones has a ton of characters, even though they don't have many variants. They just make up... They just make up variants at this point. Right. But here's the thing. Engage can have a bunch of official variants. And that's not even accounting the makeup, made-up ones they can easily do. Like summer or winter variants, you know. I'm just saying. Oh, just go smart. Okay, but you know there can easily be an Alir Marth team up because they already have the duos. They already have the team up characters where they're paired up. Those already exist. They can easily do it. But instead of just two units, it's just Alir and paired up with the Ghost Marth. It's no different. I know you said, like, story-wise, the rings don't exist, but I don't think they would care. Or the rings don't work, but they... Ghost Marth exists, so the rings exist. I'm just saying. Engage exists just to give every new character, like, 30 potential variants for heroes. Lore-wise, emblems can't be brought over with a character. They are separate entities, even though Alira has the bracelet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, I just feel like at any point in time, they could just break that rule. They could just break that rule at any time. Because, like you said, Ghost Marth exists in game. So, what's to say that Alir cannot just be paired up with this Ghost Marth? It's not it. It's not the ring. It's just paired up with this Ghost Marth. Okay, what do we got? We're kind of getting close. We got meteors. 
we got more meteors. We got two sets of meteors. Probably will have to be Catria or something. When you summon the ghost character, you can give their bracelet with any character in Heroes. Ghost Mark can be with Mark. Ah, okay. Is that how they got around it? Yeah, is that how they got around it? They just actually made the bra bracelets an equipable item. So now anyone's a pair up. Is that how they got around it? Okay. I still think they can easily just make official pair ups like that. And you know there's going to be an evil variant if there isn't already. Or a corrupted variant, whatever it is. Seven. Okay. Next turn, we could get rid of the other guy with meteors. Catria will be fine. She's out of range of the barbarian. Uh, what is range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Marth can go right here and be safe. The ghosts are their own unit. Yes, exactly. You don't need to pair them up, but you can. But you can pair them up with someone in the same team, and they both will be on the map as separate units. Hmm. Again, I just see the games that came after Three Houses just as more ways to add new characters and as many ways as possible for heroes. That's just how I see it. Oh, Navarre was being... Some of them breaks the bracelet coating. They are now their own dudes. <laughs> okay. Marth, Marth talks to himself, be like, so uh, I die later, obviously, but like, how am I back? How am I a ghost? Can you explain this to me? And Ghost Marth is like, I don't know how this works. I, I'm just here to power up some other unit. Be like, okay. Uh, uh, what's it like living in a ring? Kind of sucks. Can't do anything. Okay. So we got the meteors out of the way. I want Marth to go ahead and start heading to the barbarians and the village. I'll go ahead and give one of these like, probably Cecile this kill over here. She needs the HP. Yeah, this chapter's not that bad. Again, kind of a- it seems like a breather chapter, more or less. But you can probably summon a corrupted version. That's- that's what I was getting at, yeah. You, you could summon a corrupted variant. Imagine being an evil ghost, and you can't do anything because the summer said so. At least they can wander around in the castle freely. Yeah, exactly. Well, isn't that kind of how it is with, like, uh, corrupted uh, Celica or something, or corrupted Robin? They exist, but the summer is like, no, you can't do evil things. Yeah, this person can only lower me to 1 HP, so... It's not a threat, honestly. 
Yeah, attack me with your weird eye things. Level two, strength. Well, she got strength. The summoner's. Yeah. Summoner is law. Alright. Just a few barbarians in the village. And probably a bunch of shopping. Yeah, we're gonna have everyone head up there because we're gonna probably end up doing a lot of shopping. The ghost can go anywhere on like engage. They aren't tied down with bracelets. Well, didn't you say like the the bracelets themselves like broke? Like at, like as soon as they got summoned. Oh, he only needs one more level. Oh, he'll definitely get that. Yeah, he's definitely gonna get it. Alright, go right here, Marth. And I guess I'll just wait it out. if I were to attack again. Or I could just let Warren have it. That works too. Hmm. It's like a loose hair or something. Alright. Strength and weapon level. Well, Fina has a strength of 10. That's something. Fina could fight. I mean, she's not going to, but she could fight. Hey, Warren got a crit. of another Berserker. Or Berberian, whatever it is. Almost there. We are almost to the shops. Uh, I can get him on the forest. He's safe here. We still haven't even heard anything about the next uh, Nintendo console, even though we're supposed to hear something this year. So I feel like if we're going to hear anything Fire Emblem at all, we are not going to hear anything until maybe next year. And that's at the earliest. And that's assuming we know what the next Switch thing, what the next console is. If we hear anything beforehand, it'll probably just be a, uh, like a, a translated remake, uh, not a remake, but a translated game. Like they did with the any, like they did with FE1. That's like the only other thing I could see beforehand, but right now I think they're just waiting for the next console to be revealed. Give the bracelet to someone and they'll receive the buff, but the ghost won't have to be present for the buff. Right, yeah. They are tied to the bracelet, but not confined by it. If you send them home, you also send them back the bracelet. Right, okay. So you could, you could pair them up, 
pair them up with someone, quote unquote, and that person gets a buff. But the other unit is still. But like the the ghost Marth can still do his own thing. Okay. It's not like a. It's not like you're fusing the two units. I want Marth to have that kill. It would be best for me to heal him. Just to make sure. Alright. Oh, I dodged good. And Marth should now be at level 20. Yes. Skill and luck went up. Marth is currently capped, and he has... Honestly, his stats are okay. He's not bad. Could be better, but could be worse. All right. Time to go to the shops and restock on things. Okay, Paula, what do you need? What do we got in the shop? This is the better variants. I don't think I need that. Paula, what do you have? You need a steel. That's all you really need. Killing Edge Worm Slayer. Oh, no steals here. Wait, there were two shops with silver lances? Are you kidding me? Fine. Can't really restock on the things I want. That's annoying. Well then. First of all, you should probably just discard the iron. Well, the Killer Lance is already kind of like a... Kind of like a steel with extra crit. Could maybe buy something. Come on, let's take a look. No, the Killer's not here. Although, there's a Killer Bow. I should definitely get one for... Uh, it was either Ryan or Lauren. I forget which. Oh, no, it's Rider's Bang. Never mind. If the next game had the promotion, you buy the game, use the codes in the box in Heroes, and you get the protagonist maxed out to plus 10. Oh my god. If they do that, you know what their pri you know that's what their priority is. You know their priority is like boosting heroes characters and not actually making new games. That's just, yeah, w this is what we were doing the last few games. We're just not going to hide it anymore. Yeah, Ryan needs a new killer. Now go ahead and do what you need to do, Juice. I gotta get to the village, buy some stuff, and then we're completing the chapter. Should get rid of the Slim Lance and give Roy Rudy a silver. It'll be fine as long as the gameplay and maps are fire. Exactly. Time to dance, Marth, and see what this village has to offer. What do we got here? Prince Michaelis, what are you doing here? And you suffered a grave wound. What happened? Marth, I have been waiting for you. Take this. This is the Starlight Tome. 
after giving it to me? That's right. Karnif, only with the spell can be harmed. I managed to take it back from his possession. Why did... Okay, wait a minute. No, how did he... How the hell did he get Starlight? Karnif, where is he now? In the dragon's table. Huh. I was careless. I could be defeated by Garnef. Marth, good luck. I'm already finished. If Minerva is still around, tell her to, in my place, rescue Maria. Lachylus, your highness, I leave Maria's fate to you. Ugh. How the hell did Garnef get Starlight? No, seriously, how did he get that? Like, there is no way he should have had that. But yet, there he is! He's ha he has Starlight in his possession somehow. Uh, Agma. Honestly, Agma's fine on his weapons. Ryan's the one that needs to get... Replacement killer. Juice, explain to me, how did Garnef get Starlight in the first place? Because we just got to the village, and Mikaios is like, I stole Starlight back from Garnef. Like, how? How did Garnef even had it? Last I checked, it was Lind that was holding on to it. shops I was kind of looking for, honestly. Merrick lost it at the temple? You don't know. So it's not explained. It's not explained how Garnef got a hold of Starlight. The only thing that actually hurts him. Merrick is incompetent. I mean, he was dealing with a coup, that's for sure. With Elran. I do need heal. I should buy a few heals. Visit all five shops? I only see four. Unless there's a fifth one somewhere, but this is... Unless there's a secret shop here. Uh, let's buy a few heal staffs. I need replacements. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna buy, like, one or two more and put in storage. There we go. What, is there a secret shop, like, right here? There's Julian. Let's see. I don't think I need to buy them. Only one way to find out exactly. Marth was in the shop. What do we got? Volinary's Pure Water's door to end now. Okay, Marth, uh, we can't buy seals. We can buy new killing edges. And new worm slayer. I think we'll do that. Let me double check. Make sure. There we go. Okay, let's buy for a second. Let me look. This shop has the silver sword. But that's all you have is the silver sword. I want to double check before I sell stuff. Killing. And we're gonna sell the Worm Slayer. Now we are going to buy. Come on, the Worm 
Charm Slayer. And I know I think I have a spare, so I'm not going to buy another one or anything. By Killing Edge. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. Ryan, I'm going to dance. Because I want him to have a new killer bow. And Julian's all the way down there, so it's going to take him a little bit. I mean, I could trade, but hold on. Right. Sell the killer bow. It's only 50G, you know. Such a, such a steal! Feels like GameStop whenever you try to trade in a game. some heals, so you're just kind of up here. Yeah, we're gonna replace stuff for you. Ogma is currently fine. Cecile, we're replacing stuff for. Okay. We'll find out soon enough if there is a secret shop in this chapter. starts heading down to the dragon's table or dragon's altar whatever the translation decides to call this place also the shadow dragon plotline just kind of seemed to come out of nowhere didn't it it's just like oh there's a shadow dragon like oh okay good to know Sell the slim, and we're gonna buy a silver. Let me double check. Yeah. Because let's be honest, I don't use the slim anymore. I had it for attack speed. And that's not really an issue anymore. I did say I'm going to do a bunch of shopping, but I thought I'd do more because I thought they sell steel stuff. Head up here. Bar, you head up here. Is that it? Yeah. Evil Emperor doesn't go as hard. There's more to that sentence, I swear. Secret shop! We found it in the final chapter. Part one, I guess. What do we got here? Oh, wow! All power-up stuff. Don't need it, but, you know. Hey, it's there. But we found it! Hey! Okay, Marth, you head down. You buy a silver. You're gonna sell the slim lance because I don't think you need it anymore. You just need more power. Silver. Might as well. I can't dance. There's only one person that needs to buy something, so I'll dance more. I was gonna buy steel stuff, but... Nope, the game's not letting me. Uh, I gotta wait for Cecile to move. Then we can buy stuff for uh, Navarre. Almost done with the chapter. Right 
autofill added the as. Oh, okay. Evil Emperor doesn't go as hard. Okay. It's just kind of weird that autofill added that in. So I could buy a silver. No, I want the other shop, actually. I think I want to replace the killing edge. But I think I might just put it in storage. So for right now, let's give Navarre the silver. And we're going to buy one killing. And we'll just put that in storage just to have. I can't think of anything else I would want. Let's just hope I bought enough stuff. So this is the dragon's table. Where the divine dragon Naga sealed away the earth dragons. But wasn't Medeus the guardian of the altar? Medeus could not tolerate them actions against the Menakets. So we gathered the other dragon tribes and formed the Deluna Empire to destroy mankind. First, he w was defeated by Henri, and second by you. Earth dragons can't be destroyed easily due to their powerful life force. Medeus is now sleeping in the altar. Medeus didn't die. Okay. Thanks for retconning that game. He's going to resurrect again? No. Even an Earth Dragon shouldn't wake within a hundred years. Medeus is now changing his form. When he next awakens, he'll become a fearful Shadow Dragon. No. Could it be? So that's why. Why, Garnev? Huh? When does it go to Prince Barth? I finally understand why the clerics have been taken. Garnev plans to use them to resurrect Medeus. To awaken a dragon requires the life force of females with pure and noble blood. Garnev knew this. So we went to capture the clerics. So my sister and the others are inside the altar. Hmm. Martha, we must hurry. And the, the clerics are in grave danger. Medeus is going to resurrect once again. Well, there's... There's our setup. Uh, but if I'm correct... Yeah... We're, we still got a few chapters to go. Yeah, we got a few chapters to go. I, and I got a few things to do. So, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. Let's go through the achievements I did get this this stream. Defeat the Earth Dragon, Chapter 20. Uh, we get the final secret shop. And let's see. I think it's just the chapter ones. No, that was that was last that was last stream. Uh, yeah, and then I think it's just complete chapter 20 and 21. But yeah. That's what we did today. We got, it looks like based on, the, we got like three more chapters to go. And then we'll see what we do after that. Anyway, have a good day. Later. See you next week.